Now that we understand how the temperature increases as we go deeper in a stellar atmosphere, let us understand the structure in their spectra. Uh, when stellar spectra were first obtained and the spectral lines were seen, a classification scheme was devised. We use this scheme nowadays, as you know, the spectral types, OBA, FGKM. The origin of that, you may find the order, OBA, FGKM, kind of arbitrary, point is that they were first ordered based on the strength of the hydrogen lines. Edward Pickering and uh, Wilhelmina Fleming ranked the stars alphabetically according to how dark the strong bomber lines of hydrogen were. Star with the deepest hydrogen lines are said to be a spectral type A. These are these ones here. So what you're looking at here are uh, H alpha, H beta, H gamma, H delta, the spectral lines of hydrogen. So they rank them accordingly to that. As you see here, the B type are you know, less strong than A, the F, and so on. So they classified them alphabetically in terms of how deep the hydrogen lines were. Any physical significance was unclear. As it turns out, the sequence is actually a temperature sequence. The temperature increases from the M type to the O type with O and B stars out of place because increasing ionization with increasing temperature starts to weaken the hydrogen lines. So it was another astronomer, any jump cannon, that simplified the system and grouped them as a series of decreasing temperature as OBA, FGKM, as we have nowadays. The sequence can be derived from local thermodynamical equilibrium, combining quantum level populations and statistical mechanics. The full description of it is known as the Saha equation. So let's look at how to obtain the Saha equation. <clears throat> 